welcome back with another video and in today's video we have an HP Folio 9480M laptop also known as an HP EliteBook 9480M and in this video I'm gonna go over how you can replace this keyboard that comes with him with a backlight keyboard with a little nipple mouse right in the middle they call it nipple mouse I'm gonna show you guys it's really easy to replace it you can purchase it and do it yourself at home if you drop some water or some keys are not working in this case a key is broken uh, I'm gonna show you guys how to remove it and do it at home you're not gonna lose any files or anything it's just really simple the screw, I'm gonna go over the tools that you're gonna be needing for this process and the only tool that I'll be using is an iFixit screwdriver set. If you get a pro version, you get the tweezers and some opening tools. If not, get the basic set. And we're going to use a Phillips number one. These are S2 class steel bit. That means they will last you many years. They're really tough and steel. And if you don't get the pro set, grab yourself an opening tool. I'll be using a guitar pick. These are really suitable to opening cases and covers. Is really tough and suitable. All right, with these two on hand, you can get it started. Also, I'll try to get the link for the new keyboard. You can put a cheaper one with no backlight if you want, if you're on the low budget, but yeah. All right, first thing first, power up the laptop, flip it upside down, and we're gonna remove the battery by pulling this trigger towards the left side, all the way left, slide the battery towards yourself, and bring it up, put it to one side. We're going to remove this uh, left cover right here by loosening up the screws right there and loosening up the screw right over here. The screws do have a C lock on them. They will not come out. They have a little spring to pull them up only. You want to slide towards the left. You see a tiny gap and then you want to just lift it up. Put it to one side. Next, we're going to loosen up this screw. First, loosen up the screws on the cover. This one right here. Again, they have a C lock. They will not come out. The one all the way towards the left side, this one right here. So this is screw, they're gonna just hang in there. We're gonna remove this screw right here, loosen up, I mean. Again, see lock. The one right over here, and the one right back here. Once you have removed this one, we're just gonna flip it over toward the back side, put it down there. Now, we're gonna loosen up this screw right over here. Loosen up this screw. Loosen up this screw and loosen up the screw right over here in the middle. With all these three screws loosened up, now we finish on this side. We're just gonna work on the other side. We're gonna open up this screen and in here, we're gonna grab the opening tool. We're gonna stick it in the middle between the keyboard and the palm rest and we're just gonna flip it backward like this every one centimeter or half a centimeter until you see this kind of tiny clicks and you want to put your finger there. I'm not just helping it up. I'm not pulling it up actually. I'm just going to try to pull it up that way. And uh, side. And uh, once you did a side on the top side, and just bring it up, pull it towards the screen a little bit so you just lose, let go of the bottom clips. Now we're going to flip it this way. And we're going to see the nipple mouse right in here and the flex cable for the keyboard and the backlight. So I'm gonna grab a tweezer so my fingers is not in the way. So now to remove this lock right in here, to remove this lock right here, this one unlocks from the back side. You want to bring it up 90 degree, just like that, and you want to slide this flex cable out. For the keyboard, you want to lift it up from this side upward 90 degree and pull this flex cable back. For this one, it's on the other side. Lift it up 90 degree and slide out the flex cable. And there's your keyboard. I'm gonna try to get you the model number for this one. If you want to get a spare part number, it's a 7856 48 161. And that's the model that it says right in here 69. Oh, it is 69. Here it gives me another one, which is 69. 7685-161 so there's a two different part number so i'll try to get the correct link you can get a little bit different if yours is different language style so let's say that you got the new keyboard in here all you want to do you want to set it down in this position 
Now, remember, uh, just if you pay attention on the flex cable, there are tiny earlobes on the side of the big flex cable right in here. This flex cable means that it has to go down in 45 degree inside the jack and then sit down towards the motherboard. You can't just slide down it straight. You have to put it all the way in. Make sure those earlobes are in there all the way in and keep it in there and then lock it down. Grab the backlight. And the backlight doesn't have any earlobe, it just slides in. Make sure the lock is open. Slide it right in there. And then lock it down. The nipple one, this one goes in. It's, uh, make sure you invert them, you have to face up the contact. I'm gonna use my hand, I can't use the tweezer for this one. Pretty much. There we go, put it in there and lock it in place. All right, once it's locked in, now you want to lift it up gently, close to the key, palm rest and bring the bottom side down. Keep a curvature, push down the corners in here, make sure those tiny clips go in. The back, the clip won't go in, so you just have to push it down uh, using a guitar pick. You see that tiny clip right there? You want to put this one on top and help it to go in. Same thing in here. Make sure it goes all the way in and it clicks in. Right there. So you want to find one by one those clips. I'm just gonna, I can't look through there. I'm just gonna feel it. And with one hand, I'm just gonna push it down. The one on the side, the one right there, right there. Once you have all those hooked in there, you're almost set to go. Now we need to tighten up the screws and we are all set. All right, so tighten up the screw right there. The screw right over here. There. And this one right over here. Again, if you guys want to support the channel, you can support the channel by clicking that like and subscribe. It really helps and motivates me to make more videos, take requests and answer your questions in the comment area. I really appreciate it. So to put this bottom cover in here, you want to make sure you just bring it down like a pamphlet, like closing it down, align it straight and then bring it down straight. And now you want to hold it and tighten up the screws right in here. All right, and next you want to grab this side cover, put it in an offset position with a little gap, and then you want to slide it in. And the last thing would be to just grab the battery, put it in an offset position with a half a centimeters and slide it towards the inside the laptop and lock it down. I hope you guys liked this video and helped you guys out. If you have any questions or requests, feel free to leave them in a video comment or try to answer them as soon as I can. As always, thanks for watching and I hope to see you guys in my next video.